Over the past few years, foldable smartphones have undergone a dramatic transformation. What began as an experimental concept has now evolved into one of the most exciting trends in mobile technology. At the forefront of this innovation has been Samsung, a brand that has consistently set the pace and redefined what's possible with flexible display technology. Now, Samsung is gearing up to introduce what might be its most ambitious foldable yet, a revolutionary tri-fold smartphone that could be named the Galaxy G Fold. If the leaks and reports are anything to go by, this device doesn't just push the envelope, it rips it wide open. The Evolution of Foldable Smartphones Foldables were once thought of as niche gadgets for early adopters. But with each new iteration, Samsung has brought them closer to the mainstream. While competitors like Oppo, Google, and OnePlus have also ventured into this space, no one has made foldables as accessible and refined as Samsung. The Galaxy Z Fold series has matured significantly over time, showing how foldables can be more than a gimmick. Yet despite improvements, these devices still occupy a somewhat awkward middle ground, trying to be both a phone and a tablet but never quite excelling at either. That's where the Galaxy G Fold steps in to rewrite the rulebook. Meet the Trifold, more than just a bigger foldable. Trifolding phones aren't an entirely new concept. Huawei, for instance, already has one under its belt. The Huawei Mate X2 unfolds into a sprawling 10-inch display, offering users both the compactness of a smartphone and the expansive real estate of a tablet. This form factor provides a far more practical solution than existing foldables. A trifold phone can function like a traditional 6.4-inch phone when folded and expand into something that closely resembles a full-size tablet. The result is a device that delivers two complete experiences without the awkward compromises seen in typical foldables. But Huawei's approach, while innovative, hasn't been without flaws. Flaws Samsung is poised to fix with the G Fold. The Galaxy G Fold's game-changing design. According to recent reports and credible leaks, the Galaxy G Fold will feature a 6.5-inch cover screen, perfectly usable as a standalone smartphone, and unfold into a massive 10-inch internal display, mirroring Huawei's strategy but with a critical difference, the folding mechanism. Huawei uses what's called a Z-style fold, where one part of the display is exposed to the outside when the device is closed. While this allows for a slimmer design, it leaves the flexible screen vulnerable to scratches and damage. Anyone who remembers the first-generation Huawei Mate X knows how quickly that soft plastic display could get scuffed up just by being in your pocket. Samsung's design, on the other hand, will reportedly use a G-style fold, where the display folds inward and remains protected when closed, much like a book. This keeps the fragile interior screen away from rough surfaces, keys, or dust particles. However, this configuration necessitates an external screen, just like the Z Fold lineup, to enable phone functionality when the main display is tucked away. The engineering challenges, weight, thickness, and durability. Packing three display panels into a device is no small feat. The addition of dual hinges, more internal components, and a larger screen inevitably raises concerns about bulkiness and weight. For context, Huawei's trifold model weighs around 298 grams and has a thickness of 12 millimeters when folded, which, surprisingly, is thinner than Samsung's current Z Fold 4. Samsung, however, is reportedly hard at work making the Z Fold 5 and 6 significantly slimmer and more refined. If they can pull off a similar feat with the G Fold, maintaining a sub-13mm profile while keeping the weight manageable, it could silence skeptics who worry about portability. That being said, we're still talking about a device that's going to feel hefty in the hand. But with the kind of screen real estate it offers, that might be a compromise users are willing to make. Battery life, the bigger the screen, the bigger the challenge. One of the most pressing concerns with larger foldables is power consumption. A 10-inch display draws significantly more juice than even the biggest standard smartphones. If not addressed, battery life could quickly become the Achilles heel of trifold designs. Huawei tackled this with a clever solution, silicon carbon battery technology, allowing them to fit a massive 5,600 mAh cell into their foldable. It delivers impressive screen on time without making the device feel like a brick. Samsung hasn't confirmed what battery tech it plans to use in the G Fold, but unless they go down a similar path, matching Huawei's endurance will be tough. Traditional lithium-ion batteries may simply not be efficient enough to keep the device running all day without serious trade-offs in performance or thickness. The price factor. Can Samsung keep it sensible? Let's not sugarcoat it. Tri-fold smartphones are going to be expensive. All that cutting-edge engineering and premium display tech comes at a steep cost. 
Industry analysts expect the Galaxy G Fold to retail for at least $2,000, with some estimates reaching up to $2,500 or more. To put that in perspective, Huawei's Trifold reportedly cost around $2,999, and despite the high price, it managed to sell over 3 million units. That proves there's a demand for premium foldables, if the product is compelling enough. What about the display crease? One persistent issue with foldables has been the crease that forms along the folding line. It's especially noticeable on early generation devices, where the ridge would interfere with scrolling, stylus use, or video playback. But thanks to new hinge mechanisms and material improvements, this is becoming less of a concern. In fact, users of Huawei's Trifold say that the dual creases, resulting from two folds instead of one, are barely noticeable. Once the display is fully opened, the lines tend to blend into the background, especially when watching content or using productivity apps. We can expect similar technology to be employed by Samsung, especially considering how far they've come in reducing the crease visibility in the latest Galaxy Z Fold models. A glimpse into the future, launch expectations. So when can we expect the Galaxy G Fold to officially break cover? Reports from South Korea suggest that Samsung will tease the device during the launch event for the Galaxy Z Fold 7, likely taking place in July. If Samsung follows its usual playbook, we might get a sneak peek at the end of the event, perhaps a teaser trailer or even a limited hands-on demo for select media outlets. A full reveal and commercial launch might then come a few months later, possibly time to coincide with another major product release like the Galaxy S25 Edge or the Galaxy Tab S10. Regardless of the exact date, it's clear that Samsung is getting ready to usher in a new era of foldables, and the G Fold is going to be at the heart of that transformation. Why the G Fold just makes more sense. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Current foldables like the Z Fold, OnePlus Open, and Pixel Fold are all impressive devices, but they still feel like they're straddling two worlds. They're not quite phones, not quite tablets, and their form factors require compromises on keyboard layout, app scaling, and ergonomics.